Hello and welcome to my world. I am, of course, Fred Kasdan. As you know, seven nights a week I stream live over on Twitch. The link to my Twitch channel can be found in the description below. Now, I play a variety of video games over the course of any given week, but one of the major staples, something that basically uh, has its night in the line in the weekly lineup secure, is Overwatch. Kind of dubbed it Sunday Night Overwatch kind of questionable of all things to play on at the end of a weekend before the, before going to bed to go wake up to uh, going to work on Monday well, at what at times what can be a very frustrating game to play depending on uh the quality of teammates you run end up with when you are not running with uh, a party but be that as it may Overwatch is a game I do thoroughly enjoy. That That's why I dedicate one night a week to it. Now, at the time of this recording, January 18th, 2020, the Luna New Year event is in full, of, is in full swing. It's the Year of the Rat. And there are new skins, emotes, uh, sprays, voice lines, and such. And so... That's what we're going to do here. We're going to go do a review of all the new goodies that are part of the uh, 2020 year New Year's Luna event. In fact, we're going over to what is essentially my game screen. And because I do have to put some things to listen to <laughs> as we go through the new events, uh, not the new events, but the new skins and things here. Let's go over here. What's new? And I already have a couple of things unlocked. And we're going to start with the skins. Work our way all the way down the list here. So the first three skins here are basically awards for winning nine matches on the course of any given week. The first week is the Monk skin for Doomfist. And I really wish we could zoom in on it. Yellow pants, uh, tied up shoes sandals and a big gold fist a bronze fist it's plain i'm not a do i'm not a doom fist player but it is rather plain it, it is a warrior monk skin they could have they could have called it doom monk or monk fist or something like that probably would have been the same but this calling it a monk skin is pretty much spot on um, not sure if they were going for the Shaolin Monk vibe, as you see in kind of like Mortal Kombat, or at least at the start of the first Mortal Kombat film, but it's a plain skin, and you see why they stick it in there as uh, an award and not for something you get out of a loot box. Next, you got uh, an Ancient Bronze, a Jade Monkey skin for the big gorilla Winston. This I kind of like. I kind of wish it was more greenish and for full, like a full-on jade vibe, but I get what they're going for here. I do like the orange on, on the fur and stuff. It, it does a nice contrast there. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be warrior paint or whatnot, but it's supposed to be like a statue. Cause I could have sworn I've seen something that looked like that in an anime once. So it's supposed to be a statue, but I can't remember. Oddly enough, the next we got the paper cutting skin for Wrecking Ball. The sphere itself looks pretty neat. Weapon, nothing special there. Kind of looks like it's a decorative ornament type thing. The real, the real highlight is Hammond himself being like a little gold chubby hamster. And and I really wish we could zoom in a bit more, but. But it's nice. Certainly, so out of the weekly skins, this is pretty much the best one. Matter of fact, it kind of goes from the worst one to the best one there in terms of the skins that you'll get from just winning nine matches over the course of the this week and the next two weeks. 
the Brigitte skin, the opera skin. This I like. It's a f the face paint really stands out, and it, it just looks sharp. The mace being basically a lantern is, is pretty is pretty cool. And you see, they kept managed to keep all of Brigitte's usual stylings with her attire, with her normal attire, and just give it this, you know, this nice, unique flair. Now, I'm sure that there is going to be some people out there that's going to say, like, race appropriation because of the face paint and how Brigitte's eyes are done. But to which I say, lighten up, Francis. Uh, the Samurai, Samu Nuri skin for Lucio. I just not feeling it. It's too close to the skin that Tracer got last year. I forget the name of it. I'm not going to go switch with it now. But it, it's, it, it, it comes across as too much of the same vibe. I do get it, though, because I think it's not the first time they've had two similar skins. I think the the uh, Christmas skins it sees uh, they both have like uh, they have similar uh, holiday skins if memory serves me right or is Trace is more of an elf but it it just strikes me as too much too similar while Tracer's skin uh, New Year's event skin last year was more of a straw hat to, you know it's almost it's basically copying this, change it up, and just enough to make it look different for Lucio, but one thing that definitely does stand out is that Lucio's hair, being out of his dreads, looks a little bit more flat and he's wearing his hair down, which is a neat, neat, neat touch there. My favorite skin is the Moira skin. This just looks demonic, and I've... I do get the color scheme. I do understand the color scheme as why it is. It's supposed to be celebratory of the new Luna calendar event and everything. I really wish this had a bit more of a darker center so tone instead of the yellow, more of a black instead of the white. Maybe more of a red there or this. I would love to see this with just darker colors instead of it being so bright the real winner on it is the eyes the flaming eyes like surrender to my will it's like i will i saw this i looked at it at um from a highlight because i didn't get a play of the game with the skin yet and the eyes on just the the uh, highlight animation just pops it's like mm. Moira isn't one to be fucked with, and this and the mask alone just adds on to it. And, but like I said, I really would. I, this is my favorite skin of this batch, but I really wish it had the rest of it was like more of like a black and red up in the uh instead of it with the brighter with the bright colors. Again, I understand why the colors are what they are, but. I really wish it was a, was had a big, bit more of a darker and sinister vibe to it. That mask and the way that with the eyes on the mask are just glowing with the fire and oh, it it just looks it just looks sinister. It would look even better if it had a more sinister out uh, look, look to it. Now the face changer skin is probably the most complex because the face on it, as you just saw, changes, and this is for Sombra, which makes sense that she will have something like this to disguise her face, and they have several different faces that pop up. Um. Uh, it's the first skin that comes to mind in Overwatch that actually has that gimmick. And it's certainly unique. Beyond that, I I kind of wish the, the color scheme on this is probably, I wish it was on the Masked Dancer skin for Mora. 
I kind of feel like the color scheme on this would should would mask Moira is a lot better than Sombra, and you and Sombra could have had those bright colors and everything, and it still would have worked. But still, I would say this is the second best skin. There, uh, emotes like kite flying for Bastion. Okay, let's go of the kite. Pretty nice. It's simple as basic, a little com comedic with the bird chasing it. Sky Lantern skin, f uh, excuse me, uh, emote for Hanzo. It's definitely part of like the whole New Year vibe. And we saw something like this in the fifth episode of Life is Strange 2, so it certainly fits the. It, it certainly fits. Uh, victory poses. Baptiste is having some hot, is enjoying some hot soup. It's, it's certainly animated. That's, uh, it's probably one of the more active emotes, uh, excuse me, victory poses that there are. Farah hoarding just a lion mask. Uh, respectful pose. Nothing really more to say about it. And Torbjorn holding a firework that clearly should be exploding. This strikes more something that you would see, I would see for Junkrat. But for Torb, I guess it kind of works. Again, it's kind of very celebratory and so forth. Voice lines. Let's see. We got Baptiste first. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Okay. Need something? Don't you worry. I guess you can come. You. I guess if you combo the, these things up, go. Need something? Don't you worry. Need something? Don't you worry. That certainly works. Kind of like Arissa's. Do you need a hug? I'm sorry, I can't do that. Can Reinhardt's bring me another beer? Uh. Just Scandinavian things for for Brigitte saying cheers. What does McCree say? I'll have another. Okay, at the bar. May. I feel like dancing. Okay, I guess if you hit that before hitting her dance emote, that will work. How are you feeling? You no, know, if you actually hit that when you go, if you actually get a kill with mercy, that would actually be a pretty slick thing to the the say instead of saying hello. Er doy. And again, Gaelic uh, language is saying superb. All right. Stack overflow. I, well, this one I guess you combine it with the. 404 error message line that she had says that certainly works. I don't think so. Well, there's your perfect response, and if you're in an open quick play and you demand a uh, quick play, classic quick play, and you're demanding for a DPS to switch to a tank or support, and if it's fair out, there's your response. We got two for Sigma. An anomaly. Look at a new yar. I don't recognize the language, but an anomaly. Look at a new yar. I guess what that German, I guess. Not sure. The anomaly one certainly probably the better of the two. A little more versatility, but I haven't really gone through all of his voice lines yet because I don't play Sigma much. And the Happy New Year is just you know perfect for like a New Year event. If I can think it, I can create it. I guess a perfect line. F Not sure. Again, I don't play Symmetra much, if at all. So it fits her because she can basically the hard light objects. Do early 
for flapjacks. It's never too early for flapjacks. That's probably my favorite line of the new ones here. Probably my favorite. All right, we got spray. Excuse me, sprays for Baptiste. Looks like if you get an. Guessing if you have others that have the middle and head pieces, that even that will definitely work if you get sprayed in a row. Lion dance, nice. This is for Doomfist. If you complete the weekly event, focus. It's a Doomfist uh, spray. This is a nice one for Moira. It brings out the vibe of the new skin. Uh, Sigma carrying the back end of the dragon uh, tail. Okay. Dumpling grasp. Hmm. All right. Uh, well, the face changer spray definitely represents the new skin. Yeah, so this is what they were going for with the Winston skin, the bronze. And it goes back to what I said. If it was more like this with the full color screen being the jade, that jade green, it would definitely work a lot more than it does. And it, and it works the way it does. Spring, I get... Uh, okay. Opera Warrior. This one representative of Brigitte's new skin. And it's nice. Although her mace looks less like a lantern in the spray than it does on the skin. And Lucio, skin was represented banging on the drum and everything, so I guess he got the beat. Year of the Rap. Guess the spray represents the year. Uh, for obviously competing in... Uh, in what uh, competitive uh, capture the flag competitor participation and and if you're ranked towards the top so those are nice and there's one more thing here it's a highlight intro for junk rat the overrate and it's It's kind of like a uh, Roadhog skin, uh, excuse me, uh, highlight intro. I keep saying skin. Where he overrated and he's laying with his belly up. We've all been there. But all in all, the skins for the most part are definitely. But getting back to the skins, Moira and Brigitte skins are my favorite of the ones that are lot box exclusive. I don't really care for Lucio's new skin, and I can kind of take it or leave it with the face changer skin. Of the three weekly ones, he's just got to get 27 wins, 9 wins apiece over the next couple of weeks. Uh, clearly to go from worst to best. So, And... Voice lines, the combination with Baptiste needs something and don't you worry, works. Of the victory poses, probably the best one is Baptiste. Of the two new emotes, there's Kite Flying and Sky Lantern for Bastion and Hanzo. I can, eh, we'll call that an even split. And in terms of the sprays, the skin sprays for... Moira and Brigitte are certainly on point. So, anyway. Anyway, so, thank you very much. Those are my thoughts, opinions on the Luna Event Awards and so forth that are part of the event that's currently happening over in Overwatch. So, if you have Overwatch and haven't logged in in a while, well, now is a good opportunity, good reason to log in. And, uh, and start collecting the uh, skins and so forth. Anyway, of course, a reminder, I stream seven nights a week over on Twitch. The link and other information can be found in the description below. I thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave your thoughts and opinions on the new uh, Luna event uh, skins, emotes, and stuff in the comment section down below. Thank you very much. Have a good night, and we'll see you all 
next time. Bye.